Just leave the resort. On this episode of Leave the Resort, the crew heads up to the highest 360 degree infinity pool in the world, the Aura Sky Pool. After yesterday's 13 hour flight from New York City and a full day of exploring the mosques of Abu Dhabi, it's time for the crew to relax, floating in the clouds. So we got here on bright and early, 10 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> and everyone is just settling into their day beds. Definitely exceeded our expectations. It's absolutely gorgeous. The view is amazing. Well worth it. We're on the 50th floor at the worst angles. Right now we're just deciding what we're going to drink. There's a huge cocktail list, breakfast menu, lunch menu, anything you can possibly imagine. There's even a floating champagne option. So we're waiting to see what that looks like. Um, but to give you an idea around pricing, cocktails are around about like 85, AED. So yeah, lots of options. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm 30 and I'm single and I'm looking for my millionaire husband in the I'm a little confused why I haven't found him yet. <laughs> so, Dubai has been very cool. It's an epic trip. Everyone should go on. Everyone's super friendly to say at the Ritz Carlton. Hello. I know, I heard it earlier. It's the Ritz Carlton, St. Regis. The highest infinity pool to go to. So, it's pretty epic that we're here right now. how much this incredible view costs. So it was $75 a person. Highly recommend if you're gonna come here in your time to Dubai, which I totally recommend you do, that you book your seats really far out in advance. We booked our seats two months in advance, as soon as they open up. I think they open up around two months in advance um, because this is a main attraction in Dubai. I'm sure you've seen it all over TikTok, all over Instagram. But what's really nice about it is that it is definitely more of a like high-end luxury experience, I'd say, like not tons of tourists because you have to have a reservation. Um, I mean, everyone's here is a tourist, don't get me wrong, but you have to have a reservation to be here. So you have your own secluded spot. There's a huge pool that you can go all around. Um, and I definitely would recommend you come in the morning. We did the 10 to 2 spot. There's a spot that you can come at 6 a.m. if you want the least amount of people. Um, but then, you know, it is on the 50th floor, so it might be a little cooler before the sun starts hitting. Another tip, make sure you think about where the sun will hit at the time of the day that you'll be here. So we strategically book these seats knowing that the sun will be shining on us in the morning at this time because it makes a huge difference. So the people that are right over there on that side, it's way windier, way colder because that's the sun is not um, shining or facing that way. So just something to think about. The water is heated, but it's a little bit chilly up here. So we're here in February, so it's their winter too. But it'd be nice if the water's a little bit warmer, but you can get over it with this spectacular view. It's pretty cool. What do you think, Emily? We are in Dubai. <laughs> but yeah. It seems to be completely booked up, because there are a decent amount of people here. It's not overcrowded. But it's it's uh, definitely filled. 
Uh, but you can get little pockets of, you know, your own space. So that's nice. You can enjoy the view. And it's 360, so you can walk all the way around and get all the different views. You get the city view, the palm view. You can see the birds in the background. You can see if you can see it. Over there. That little building. So the drinks are on the way and then relax the rest of the afternoon. We got a couple more hours here just to hang out. Nice. So we're heading to the day club now. But we are walking. What? What did you say? To the day club. Oh, I think to the gay club. To the gay club! <laughs> <laughs> to the day club. They put you in jail. Right away. No trial, no, no nothing. Right to jail. Day gay. What's that, a Tuesday? Day gay. Could be. So that's pretty high. You can see it in the background up there. That's where we just were. It's pretty high. Now we're headed to the beach club. And uh, nice relaxing day for us. It's gonna be good. You know what I'm kind of getting? Almost Las Vegas vibe. Yeah. yeah it's like Las Vegas is but Someone told me this is the Las Vegas of the Middle East. I go to the cafe and I It is amazing to walk around this city and it's we've only explored so much of it so far that it's only a couple decades old. Like they just built this city so it's pretty pretty amazing. These photos were taken prior to 1966 to show you what life was like in Dubai for a episode of Leave the Resort. The crew heads to the Maldives to escape the craziness of Dubai. From island hopping to shark diving, this episode is surely not to be missed. Leave the Resort.